Good morning, everybody. What's happening? We are heading out to the Florida Sand Hills today to do some sand hill hunting. It's that time of year. It's cool, 60s at night and high 70s, low 80s in the daytime. So it's perfect for these little upland species to be out moving, especially the hatchlings, because it is this time of year that they are hatching. And what are sand hills, may you ask? Oh, you asked. They're the higher elevation areas that over periods of glacial maximum and glacial minimum, the retreating and advancing of the ice sheets caused you know water in the very low elevation of Florida to rise and fall and some points where they rose all the way up and over the state of entire state of Florida except maybe North Florida and these little bits of higher elevation in the middle of the state there are the little ridges and the oceans were lapping right against the sides of these uh, ridges kind of like a beach which they were with little dune islands and many species of vault to live in these high dry areas in Florida. High is in, it's relative, obviously. We had these ice ages. Good movie, look it up. Very educational, great movie. What's up, my mammals? So I'm not sure if you can even see me right now. Can you see me? I guess you can. So in the middle of talking my brains out, the camera died. Yeah, my other camera, battery, and I didn't bring an extra battery for that camera. But I've got this camera, and so what's happening, so again, what's happening is these people are building there, and what are they doing? They are causing fire suppression because they don't obviously don't want their houses burned down, so they're not letting these natural areas burn, which over the millennia, that is what they do. These A lot of these plants require frequent burns, three to seven year burns, to burn off any lower woody areas that may cause the canopy to close and the lower grassy uh, longleaf pines the babies need this open canopy to grow up and obviously to grow strong uh, anyway so yeah that's what i'm doing today hopefully we'll see some cool stuff i'm gonna go to some new areas places i've scouted out over the years and i've never really hit it hard i've been to them maybe around them or just kind of scouted it so, all right so i'm gonna be hitting that up in a minute and hopefully we'll find something cool see ya So we just road cruised a little teeny bitty bitty itty bitty <laughs> ring next that gets under my shoe right now. There he is. And it's probably the size of uh, a penny. So far that's all we've seen. Okay, let's see if I can get him. There we go. Oh, he's coiling his tail. Oh, he pissed. Oh, you're gonna go that way. You gotta get out. Oh, you can't even get up this little tiny. You can't get up the tread. There we go. And I mean, he's this big. He's that big. Can you get up that? <laughs> okay. Look at the look how long the trail is. So we've got a baby Simus, southern hog nose. He's got his little head all poofed up. But look at the trail somebody's yard <laughs> little Simus <sighs> look at that how adorable this guy's just a little hatchling probably less than uh, 48 hours old not a lot of color on it though Lindsay's gonna hold him for a minute Cute. How cute. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you mad? Oh, I'm mad. mad. Oh, oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> Just because you're mad doesn't mean we're not going to hold you. <laughs> she jumps every time he goes. <laughs> oh, look at that head. Yeah. Flattening it out, looking dangerous. Well, this was a perfect day for him. And uh, look at the trail. That's pretty cool. So there's probably more actually around the same area. So we might cruise around the circle more and then come back to the same area and see if another one crosses.
You're a little slower slug, aren't you? Oh, man. All right. Off into the woods you go. Go. Go, you little slug. Get out of here. All right, guys, check it out. A young eastern hog. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you see that? Oh, man. Okay, so a second ago, the gentleman came out here at, that owned the property in front of the house and he was curious but also not exactly happy that the snake was there so I just want to come over here and film this guy for you guys and then take some pictures so check it out they do this flattening of the neck to look a little more intimidating and they'll sometimes hiss and if that doesn't work they will feign death oftentimes so Am I getting this thing focused? I can't even tell if it's in focus or not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay him on the ground so we can see him better. Oh, there you go, look, check that out. A lot of yellow in the neck on this one. They'll often have some color when they're younger and turn into a melanistic adult uh, as they age, obviously the colors will fade. This one, probably going to turn into one of those as well. That's pretty sweet. We got a southern hog nose and then this guy right before we're leaving. And <laughs> I'm going to take some pictures, move him off the road, let him enjoy his life. I'll probably take pictures uh, over here on the side somewhere. I don't know. Rub it aside. Pretty cool. All right, looks like, guys, looks like we have a racer here. It was DOR on the road, I think. And it's being dug underground by some carrion beetles, it looks like. Check that out. Interesting. Huh. All right. Coral snake. Check this little dude out. <laughs> you gonna find a hole? He's looking for a hole. Look at his tail. <clears throat> so they'll do that to, to distract you from their head and it kind of makes their tail look like a head as, as well. They, they will see it. They can curl it around so it kind of looks like a head. Which kind of does. I mean, it's the same color as her head as well. They have the black and yellow. <laughs> it's a good defense mechanism. I mean, it shakes it up. Oh, there's your real head. I see it. <laughs> Very cool. Coral snake. There you go, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Spaz, they're so spazzy. All right, here we go. Just remember. These snakes do not require an easy place to grip onto. They will get you if you pick them up. They can bite you anywhere and they're dangerous. So just don't handle them, how about that? We're gonna let this guy just kind of go on his way. 
plenty of photos of these things in the past and I'm just gonna kind of let him do his thing. And there's a whole ant trail heating up to it. This one got knocked, knocked down a peg or two. It looks like, and it is, so here's a beetle. It looks like a Japanese beetle actually, but look at this, check this out. Okay, look, where's his head at? Right here. Look at this, this is a coral snake, but look inside of it. There's a ring neck snake <laughs> inside of it. <laughs> So this one was eating a ring neck at one point until it got whacked. Yeah, well, that's sad. Kind of a neat natural history lesson though. All right, this is Simus number two, another, ha another hatchling. <laughs> okay, he's getting up there. Let's get the guy. Hey, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, he's playing dead. <laughs> so yeah, here you go. Here's the, the not all of them do this, but <laughs> Some of them do, as you can see. Drama, ain't that cute. Let's see if we can flip him over. Oh, he's dying again. Oh no, <laughs> writhing. Oh, look at the tongue. It's like... <laughs> oh shoot. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a little thumbs up, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you soon.